What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, this is not going to be my typical video here. This is actually going to be being vulnerable and explaining something to a lot of people. Um, when I always say I'm not that bright, you know, and I, I make mistakes, you guys see all the time where I will mispronounce somebody's name or, you know, I will, you know, say the, the player's name wrong or I just can't get it right. I just can't get it right. Or you'll see me kind of stop and like, I can't remember that guy's name. It's actually a disorder or uh, it's dyslexia. And a lot of people don't understand what dyslexia is. Dyslexia for me growing up was I was lazy, as the teachers would say it, or um, just sounded out, and I couldn't sound things out. Fortunately, today, having the internet the way it is and voice recognition, of course, it makes it easy because for me, problems I would have would be like, for example, things would get reversed, or I would have a problem in processing the difference between two, two, and two. You know, it's like, why do we have to have three of them? It's all two. Or understanding that the K is silent in knee. So they'd say, look it up. Well, if you don't understand that there's a silent K on there, you're looking up N for knee and you're not going to find it. Uh, I can just say, you know, on my smartphone and say knee and it's going to show me the definition or finding the information is simple now. Or you find ways of getting over on it. Because see, what's happening is, is I realize and, and this is how bad it is. I didn't even realize it because in your mind, you see it correctly, even though it's actually wrong. Many times I'll put out a title and it doesn't make any sense to anybody but me. I see it and it looks fine. But then when somebody else reads it, it's like, what is he saying? And this is dyslexia. And so I'm going to take what has been, you know, people making fun of me and try and make it a positive because I know there's a lot of people that deal with dyslexia and don't understand what the problem is or how to deal with it and the way this came to fruition is because um last week i was interested in ordering a new jersey and i said 12 personnel because that's what i wanted to do in my mind personnel was personal so when the jersey came yesterday in my mind that's personnel as opposed to personal and this is a perfect example of what dyslexia does to you now a lot of people say well you're just stupid you're stupid man yeah how, how could you be that stupid well it's a learning disability and for me it's not a, it's actually not about being smart or whatever it's about processing because for me i'm very visual you know when you see like behind me you know the joe bardies or you see the desk or the, the, the bar that's back there or me building pieces in the Smithsonian that the architect couldn't figure out how to do. It's because that's my gift is I can look at something and I can replicate it in my mind. If I have to read it or take it off plans, that's where the problem is. Now, if you want to say that that's stupid, well, that's stupid, fine. But that's what I can do. You literally show me a picture of something, I can build it. I don't need the plans. I can reverse engineer it in my mind. I can see all the numbers. In fact, for me, in math class, my, my math teacher in geometry would say, I've got to show my work. And it was difficult for me to show my work. I could just see the answer. And my teacher would be like, you're cheating. So she would ask me, okay, here's the problem. She'd write it up on the board. What's the answer? And I would go, da 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 and she would look at me like, how did you do that? I don't know. I could just see and tell you what the answer is. I don't know how to write it out. And for those out there that say that, you know, you're just stupid. Well, let me show you something here. And, and this is, and I do this because I want to take a negative and make it a positive for people. Because again, there's young people out there and people my age and things like that that are dealing with this. And I want you to understand some of the people, actor Orlando Bloom, billionaire Richard Branson, Tom Cruise, Leonardo da Vinci, 
Walt Disney, Jim Carrey, Albert Einstein, and the list goes on of people who have this learning disability. I'm not going to say that Albert Einstein's an idiot. He just sees things differently. But I want to explain so you understand. And I'm going to try and read this. And this is one of those things that's very difficult. And I've gotten better over the years with it is reading and understanding and comprehending. You're very much better. And this is where when I hear something, I'll remember it. I will remember it. Reading it, it's much more difficult to process this. Dyslexia happens because of a difference in the way the brain processes information. Pictures of the brain show that when people have dyslexia read, they use different parts of the brain than people without dyslexia. These pictures also show the brains of people with dyslexia don't work efficiently during reading. So that's why reading seems like such slow, hard work. And it is. I hate reading anything. Most people think dyslexia causes people to reverse numbers and letters and see the words backwards, but reversals happen as normal parts of development are seen in many kids throughout the first and second grade. The main problem with dyslexia is trouble recognizing f- pronouns. Per- f- I-, I can't even pronounce it. These are basic sounds of speech and basic sounds of bat, um, for example. So it struggles to make the connection between the sound and the letter symbol for that sound and the blend of different sounds into words. It makes it hard to recognize short familiar words or sounds out even longer words. And you've seen me try and I just get flustered and just say, I- I'm, I'm the name butcher, that's what I do. Uh, that's what I literally do. Because word reading takes a lot more time to focus. The meaning of the words are often lost and reading comprehension is poor. It's not surprising that people with dyslexia have trouble spelling. Some people have mild forms of dyslexia. They may have less trouble in other areas of spoken and written language. Some people work around their dyslexia. But it takes a lot of effort and extra work. Dyslexia is often something that goes away on its own. That isn't something that goes away on its own or a person outgrows. Fortunately, for proper help, most people with dyslexia learn to read. They often find different ways to learn and use those struggles in their lives. What's it like to have dyslexia? If you have dyslexia, you might have trouble reading even simple words you've seen many times. And that's for me growing up, I would study spelling words over and over and over again. And I would have it that night. But by the next morning, I I wouldn't understand it. You might mix up letters in a word. For example, reading the word now as one or left as felt. Or personnel and personal. Words may also blend together and spaces are lost. You might have trouble remembering what you've read, and you may remember more easily when the same information is read to you or you hear it. Word problems in math may be especially hard, even if you are mastered in the basics of arithmetic. If you are doing a presentation in front of a class, you might have trouble finding the right words or names or various objects. Spelling and writing usually are very hard for people with dyslexia. All of the above. Which is why I hated running my own company. Why I hate being the supervisor and having to have um, to do the paperwork. Paperwork, I I can't stand it. I I, I hate it to this day. I honestly hate it. Which is why I enjoy being on YouTube. And it's amazing that I actually am on here because I used to couldn't speak in public. I would literally shut down and just couldn't do it if there was more than two or three people i i would be too shy to even say anything and through the course of time and really through youtube i've gotten better with it and unfortunately being on youtube and having to understand and read people's names i I could never read a teleprompter that could never be me when i come down here and i do a video there's nothing written down it all is just me just speaking that's my gift my problem is if i had to actually read a like i said a teleprompter or read a sheet you guys have known 
I butcher it up or when I'm trying to do a live stream and reading people's names or, you know, if I'm looking at a, a player's name for the first time and I can't figure out how to spell it. You know, when we had um, Trayvon, Trayvon and Trevon, those are ones that I can never get straight in Austin. And people will say to me, say it over and over and over and I'll say it right. But then again, later on, it's going to be wrong. And so people want to make fun of a disability. Well, that's, that's fine. That'll show how small-minded people are. But I hope that people who are dealing with the same issue that I do have, that you'll get comfort in understanding that there are ways to work around it and that there are great people in the world that have the same issue. And I appreciate you guys, as always, listening. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you later.